reason why doing this is to improve their health and keep them healthy. Children with achondroplasia have a raft of medical problems throughout their life and in fact in the first five years had a 45 times increased risk of dying of sudden infant death. And so the reason why we're trying to help the children is to keep them out of hospital, keep them healthy, healthy and to decrease medical complications. It's a genetic disorder in which there's a fault in a gene that basically turns on a switch that decreases bone growth. It's a bit like trying to drive a car with the handbrake on. It doesn't go as fast and that's what happens with the bone growth. Well, the basic findings of this study shows that the medication we've been using is essentially safe. And in addition, we got increased annualised growth velocity in the children over time. And that was sustained for 42 months. They definitely did grow and we almost got their rate of growth to approximate children without a chondroplasia of the same age. I wouldn't say a cure, but I, what I would say is that on the horizon we've got better options for families to avoid surgery, to keep their kids healthy and to avoid them coming to hospital. We got the first inkling in 2011 uh, when we found that the drug was able to, to help and reverse um, the bone structure and bone growth in mice with achondroplasia. And that really led to the, op the opportunity to trial this drug in children. So we've been able to show that the drug appears to be safe and it appears also to be effective. And that will be the, the dose that we use moving forwards in studies in children between five and 18 and in children zero to five. The difference with those studies is they'll be randomized placebo control studies, which are the rigorous types of studies we need for approval of this medication worldwide. The latest study is just being published in the New England Journal of Medicine, um, which is a, a great outcome for the program and hopefully will be the first step in making this medication improve the lives of children with this condition.